Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. You know, don't you? You know. Right, it's a quick video here, it's not a long one. You may remember the billboards that we put up. Eddie Earn should come on Porky's Corner and answer some real bo boxing questions. Like, look, one in Donny near Old Rovers Ground, one up near United Ground in Sheffield. Right, well, we're going to put another billboard up, but what I don't want to be doing is paying four or five hundred pounds for somebody to design it, you know, and blah de blah. I'd rather. I'd rather somebody send me the design. So if anybody's got any ideas about what we what we're going to put on next billboard, that it's the 48 foot ones as well. You know the big ones that you get. You can have them at side at motorway. You can have them on Peniston Road, Sheffield. We might even put one in Essex. So I haven't decided where we're going to put it yet. It all depends on what sort of deal we get. But we've had a few ideas. A few people have put one in. Am I going to put one up about Barry Earn and Jeffrey Epstein? I don't know. Will I put one up with British Boxing Board of Control, Charlie Giles' face on there, Robert Smith's and a few big massive words? I don't know. Uh, we're not doing anything illegal. Uh, just asking a question. We're not accusing anybody or anything. We just want to know what's going on. But, like I said, if anybody wants to get in my way while I'm on this little mission, feel free to take me on. Because always remember this, right? The pen is mightier than the sword. And people in glass houses and all that. Now, I'm the last person to be shouting things like that. But we're talking boxing here. We're not talking me getting off my head on drugs, are we? Because them days are gone, aren't they? But I think that these people need to be shamed into coming out. That's what I think. And get their acts together. Barry Hearn needs to come out and say why he's in Epstein's book. And Boxing Board of Control need to come out and explain a few things now. I've got lists of questions here, lists that I'd ask these people now. They're not going to come nowhere near me because they're not going to get an easy ride, are they? For example, is Coogan Cassius going to ask Barry Hearn, Hey, Bazza, <laughs> is that a mistake on BBC, BBC News, you being in Epstein's book? No, he's not going to ask that, is he? Is Danny Flexen or Rob Tebbert? They didn't. Are they going to ask Eddie Earn about StubHub or all nonsense he comes out with and going on about drug cheats on a Saturday and then on a Monday signing drug cheats? No, they're not going to ask him about that. Are they going to ask him about Dylan White's missing B sample? No, they're not going to do that, are they? They're not going to ruin it for themselves, but I would. But they're not going to come on here, are they? So I'm going to shame these people. We could even do a Dylan White one. Where's the missing B sample? I don't know, but I want to see some funky, funny designs because I don't have time to put ideas together, to be sitting in here asking people to come and visit me. And every, We need a meeting here to talk about when we're having a meeting because I can't pin anybody down. I can't, it's like being, it's like working with Dennis. You can't pin Dennis down because he's not in country, is he, 10 months a year? You can't pin him down, you, you, and I'm having the same problem here. You know, we need a meeting to see who's going to make a cup of tea here. So, but if people out there are good at designing on computers and you're reasonable, reasonable as regards your fee, and I can have a proper invoice off you, send me some designs right, that will be big enough for a thumbnail, and they'd have to be for the, 40, the 48 foot billboard as well. I think it's 48 by. I forget now, but I'll put I'll put a billboard up on this thumbnail, the one that we did last time. But that's what uh, that's the design I want. I'll put the computerized design up as well. But anybody's got any ideas? So far, I've had a few people who I know send me one. The Dylan White missing B sample with Stubber on it, Barry Earn and Epstein and the Border Control. Might even be able to get all three on one, but it has to be funny and it can't be, we can't be accusing people because we don't want legal issues. All right? Otherwise, Celia, Celia, you will be very busy working for a cup of tea, <laughs> working for a pint of lager. So we can't be accusing people. We just ask, we just want to ask, where's the B sample? 
What are you doing in Epstein's book? And border control, what's going on? What is going on? Why are you sanctioning this fight and that fight? I've got lists here of fights that should have never happened. Should, and I want to know who's signing off on these fights. Who makes these decisions? There's things I want to know. Right. Things I want to know about where are these new referees? Why are these judges getting to judge again? We know, for example, I've dug Ian, Ian, Ian John Lewinson out. Ian John Lewis. Why is he still a referee and a judge? Why? The man's obviously incompetent, or is it the other way? I don't know, but this is how I look at it. See this here, this is a, this is a factory here, right? And what they do, they, they pack stuff, right? Or the other big one, they pack for Coca-Cola, right? You know, you know Coca-Cola? Now if people are laid in that factory and they're tossing it off, what do you think happens? The big fella here, goes down and gets rid of him. And I say, oh, you've got rid of so-and-so, and you? You were all right him. Now he was no good at his job. So I've got rid of him, Russ. I said, why? Well, if you get shit on your shoe, Russ, you've got to get rid of it, haven't you? I said, well, yeah. He goes, because it leaves stains. Well, I can't be having these leaving stains ligged about all over the place. And that's what you do. If you're no good at your job, you get rid of somebody. If you have your house plastered by somebody and they've got plaster all over the place and the job's terrible, do you have them back again? No you don't, do you? If you go to the shop and you buy a sandwich and it's all killed up and horrible and you're sick, would you buy another sandwich from that shop? No. Well this is how I feel about boxing and judging and referees. If they're not doing their jobs, take the high road. Consider it severance pay. Take the train. Get out of fucking Dodge. So, so let me know what your ideas are, but they're the main three and we can put them on a billboard and it's got to be funny, but we can't be accusing, all right? So let's not have any legal problems, but there's things that need answering, isn't there? And nobody's making a stand, are they? And I want to know what's going on, all right? So anybody got a problem, come and take me on. Come and get on this, let's have a debate on here. Alright, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, don't have nightmares. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment and share the video because we're going to bring this old shower down. This is the porky movement, I'm going to drag them all down. The old lot wants tumbling down, the old sack of cards, whatever, wants taking down. at this here this is what this is what I get so this is another one another another incompetent one head gaskets in no good on there and don't buy it people just don't listen do they I can't stand incompetent